Alright, what is going on boys? Welcome back to more Ghost of the Boar on the channel. This is a video I've been wanting to do for a while. We're basically going to be testing every single body armor that is in this game. We have five different rigs. This one, which offers, I believe, zero protection whatsoever. Then we have the level one armor, level two, level three, and level four, all with different class protections of armor. So today we're going to put it to the test. We have this vast array of weapons. So we're going to start with something small, like a 22, and we'll just up our way through the calibers until we get to the parrot. And I don't think anything's going to stop. I know nothing's going to stop the parrot. Have you ever seen Demolition Ranch? This is Demolition Ranch, but in VR. Like, that is exactly what we're doing today. Okay, so I have a pretty good idea of how we can actually get this to work. And you might be thinking, how am I going to test these armors on myself? I'm basically just going to be setting each of these up in a spot, like maybe this table right here. This is just going to prop it up. And then we will grab whatever weapon we're going to test. We will just shoot it. And obviously that went straight through. We saw the it hit the table right behind it. So that's going to be the way we're going to do it. So let's get started. Obviously this A22 rig. This is our first rig. This offers zero protection. Double check that with the smallest caliber in the game. Straight through. Nothing. We're just going to throw that back there. We don't need it anymore. Alright, so next we got the JPC2 rig. This is a level 1 armor in Ghost of Tabor. I'm thinking this could definitely stop up to... I think this could stop all of the pistols. Just knowing how uh, the armor works in this game. I don't think it's going to be a problem for it. But we'll start with the 22. And see if it goes through. And it does not. We get a little closer up test. We are going to be all protected from the 22. Next up the Makarov. Shooting 9x18. Also not going to go through. Guarantee it. Not even close. All right, now we're wrapping it up a little bit. We got the Glock with the 9x19. I still think this is going to block it. I believe I've seen it block before. Yep. Nothing. Let me put it on. Shoot myself. Absolutely nothing. But this is the cheapest armor you can actually buy. And I mean, damn, it stops a lot of the pistols. Let's see if it can actually stop all of them. So let's try the 1911. Chambered in 45 ACP. I think it'll stop this as well. And it does... They go through at all? No. We are perfectly safe. I'm actually impressed with this armor, dude. This costs just shy of 5,000 Karunos, and it's stopping all the pistols. We have one final test, the 5.7. It's chambered in 5.7 by 28. Let's see if it'll stop this. Oh, did that go through? Oh, it did. Wow. That's going straight through the front plate. The back plate does seem to stop it though but uh that doesn't matter because it's already going through your entire chest okay i actually didn't see that one coming five seven actually went through the first plate all right now let's ramp it up let's do the mp5 a little more firepower going all right so the mp5 chambered in 9 by 19 as well but maybe it's got a little more firepower you know it's an smg try this out yep i believe that stopped all three not bad at all for level one. All right, the UMP 45, Shaper in 45 ACP. I don't know if this is gonna stop this. I don't think it will. Oh shit, I think it does. Level one armor stopping a UMP, that's impressive. All right, here's where we get a little serious. This is the AK-74U, that is an empty mag, that's not good. All right, now we're all set. This is chambered in 545 by 39. It's a decent sized round, as you can see from the ones I just dumped on the floor. So just for comparison, this is the 545, and this is the 57, and this thing went right on through that vest. So uh, what are we thinking? Think it's gonna stop it? I don't think so. That went straight through. Straight through with a brother. Ouch. That would definitely hurt, but hey. Doesn't make it through the back plate, so our, our friend behind us right there, he is A-OK. -okay. Alright, so I think it's safe to say anything past the 545 is obviously going to go through the level 1. So we're going to go ahead and ramp it up and grab the level 2 armor. But I gotta say, I'm, I'm very impressed with the level 1 armor. It did very, very well against some of those those pistols. Even SMGs stops a lot of those. So if you're going up against people in silo, chances are they're going to have that armor. It's very cheap and affordable, but definitely go with a caliber larger than the 45. You know, just rock a rifle, your chillins can go straight through. But if your boy's rocking the level 2 armor, it might be a little different. But we know this is already going to stop all of these pistols. The 5.7 is the one that the level 1 armor failed on. So we're going to try this 5.7 by 28. I think it will stop it for sure. 
And it does. With ease. Let's see how far we can go with this. We know it's going to stop those two. So the level one also failed on the 545. So I reckon this will also be stopped. And it is. Passes the AK-74. All right. Next, we got the M4, 556 by 45. I also believe this is going to be stopped. Yep, we got nothing passing through. Now, granted, that would probably hurt like hell. Probably have some internal bleeding. But uh, this game isn't that deep yet. We know they're going to add the advanced healing system. I wonder how in-depth it's actually going to be like bruises and stuff or like actually take chest damage from a blocked caliber. I wonder how in-depth that system's gonna be. We might have to watch out for that in future updates, but anyways, let's up the caliber. I think we're gonna go straight to the 762 by 39 from the AKM. I would be surprised if this vest actually stopped this. This is a pretty solid round, look at this. A bit larger than the 5.56. Five, I don't know if it's gonna stop this. Let's get our flashlight on. I can't see. Is it actually stopping that? Damn! Okay. That's impressive for a level 2 armor. You know what else I just realized is these vests have different protection on the side. So as you can see, this one, the level 1 armor, has obviously zero protection here. These are just like Velcro straps. This one actually has Kevlar on the side as well, which will protect your hips or whatever, you know, your vital shit down there. That's interesting. I actually didn't really notice the difference between the two. So not only do you get more bullet stoppage, you also get some side protection. That's pretty cool. That actually passed the 7.62. I'm kind of surprised about it. I wonder how far we can take this. This is the Stoner 63, also chambered in 5.56. I reckon this thing packs a bit more of a punch and maybe we'll go through. It doesn't look like it is though. Oh, well. Some of them are going through, but not always. It's like a 50-50. Yeah, look at that. That one went all the way through. That one impacted through both sides, unless it just kind of clipped under the back plate. I think it did. Yeah, I think it went under the back plate, but... Yeah, this one's... You can see it's stopping some of these, but not all of them. That's pretty interesting. Let's try and shoot ourselves with this. Uh, very awkward. Blocked. Blocked. Well, it seems to be blocking them all on me. No damage taken. How about the side plates? Oh, that one went through. Yeah, only one of those went through. Okay, this one's a little inconsistent, it seems, but when you're wearing it, it does seem to stop the stoner. All right, next up. AK Alpha. This is chambered in the same as the 762. Though I don't expect this to go through. I don't expect this to be any different than the AKM, but uh, maybe. Nothing. Nada. Check the side plates. Absolutely nothing. This is arguably the best assault rifle in the game. It's the most expensive one you can buy. Level 2 armor can stop it, so. We got the G3A3, chambered in 762 by 51. This is the largest bullet we have gotten to today. Let's see if it'll stop it. I don't think it will. I'll just say, if this level 2 armor can stop a G3, that's just the best armor in the game. Yep, that's going straight through. That's a dead boy right there. Doesn't make it through the back plate though, so our boy is safe. All right, so level two could not stop the G3, but I am wondering, will it stop a Hunter 85? I actually don't know what this is chambered in. 762 by 51 as well, okay. This is the exact same caliber we were just shooting at it. Let's see if it'll stop the Hunter. I, I hope it doesn't, I would assume. I think that went straight through. Let's try this. Hope this doesn't fly out of my hands. Oh yeah. All right, lastly, I want to test the BAR. I'm actually curious. I don't know if this, I, I, I mean, look at the size of this. That is a massive bullet. I don't think it's going to stop this at all. But uh, this is chambered in 30 6 the very old weapon. Surely it goes straight through. And that's a 
firing error. All right, here we go. Is that stopping it? Wait. No. I thought it was stopping for a second. No, going straight through. No chance. Side plates, obviously. Hit the table. No way it's stopping that. That is a big ass bullet. All right, safe to say nothing else on this wall is going to make it past the level two armor. We're gonna have to retire this. But damn, I'm impressed by the level two armor as well. That stopped a lot of bullets. And now let's see how far we can go with the level three armor. This is the 6B102 chest rig. There's a lot more coverage down your torso. You actually have there's some groin protection as well. Overall, solid armor rig. Go ahead and start off with the stoner because last time we saw there was a little little bit of luck involved if it was gonna stop this or not. Um surely surely this one will just easily fully stop it, right? Oh interesting. It's the same result. He doesn't actually damage me. Yeah, something's weird with the stoner. But I, but I think if you are wearing it, you should stop it. That was a little weird in testing. Anyways, let's move on to, let's see, where did we leave off? We left off on the G3. The level two armor could not stop the G3. Let's see how the level three handles 762 by 51. That might be going through. It is easily going through. Interesting. This gun's better than I thought. Side plates, smoking it. No chance. I honestly did not expect that. I'm gonna have to run with the G3 more because if that's going through the class three armor, I mean, that thing's got a shred, man. But now the ultimate test, the Hunter 85. Will it stop the Hunter? Oh, straight through. Not even close. Here's a close up. Straight through the level three. So currently the level two armor is just as good as the level three. And now we're gonna test out the BAR again. I mean, if those 762s are going through, if the hunter's going through, I don't see why this would also not go through. Fresh mag here. Looks like that went through. Yep. Straight through. We are still dead even with the level two. Which is interesting. Now let's up it to the M1. Sass, I believe it's called. This is chambered in 762 by 51. Well, it didn't stop the G3, so I don't see why it would stop the same caliber. Can't tell. Is that stopping? Nope. Straight through. Okay, so that's really interesting, actually. It seems the level 2 armor is just as good as the level 3. So let's just go over the perks of both. Obviously, you have a ton more coverage on the level 3. That's probably like the main. It's probably the main pinpoint there is that you're getting way more protection and your body's fully covered. But you know, honestly, for the price difference, this one's like 10,000, 15,000 more than the level two. So really, I think I would have to say the level two is got to be better than level three. I, mean, I see no real reason to go for this one over this one, you know, unless you got the spare money or whatever. But there's not a big difference. I mean, for the price, I would definitely go for this one. This one's so much cheaper. I mean, shit, it's, it blocks the exact same calibers. So I'm a little disappointed in level three, but uh, for the finale, we got the level four armor. Now the protection on this thing is insane. So obviously we have the same chest protection, back plates, side plates are a lot higher up. And also we have some shoulder protection, and even some neck protection in there. So this thing, you know, completely covers your whole body, which is awesome. But will it stop these big old rifles? Let's find out. And I think we'll start off with the hunter. Right now the hunter is undefeated going through everything so let's just if the level four will stop it surely it will right oh my gosh it went through oh that time it stopped it hold on stopped one more shot stopped it never mind maybe i had a bad shot on that first one it stops the hunter it's hunter approved impressive very good uh, next one to the G3, because nothing stopped the G3 yet. Alright, well, the level 4 stop the infamous G3A3. Yes. No problemo. That's the arm pad. Oh, that went through.
I do also want to test that neck padding. See if this will block a bullet to save your life. Nope, you're dead. We get a better shot. Oh gosh, we got some ricochet. It seems like more often than not, that's gonna go through and probably kill you. That being said, I wonder what the arm plating can stop. Let's test a Glock on it. See if the Glock will stop. Not the Glock. See if the armor will stop the Glock. Oh, interesting. It does not. But the neck. The neck seems to stop it. What about a 1911? Stop you. No, that's going straight through. Killing our boy. Let's try shooting ourselves with it. Okay, now we're gonna get some different results. So when we're wearing it, oh, I might have just missed. When we're wearing the armor, it will stop it. Try the 22. Yep, that will stop it. But if we take it off and shoot it now, sometimes it goes through. So just a little iffy with the uh, with our with our method of testing here. All right, so we successfully stopped the G3A3. Let's try out the BAR. 30-06. This should stop it, I think. Yeah. Nothing. All right, we're making it some more, some more powerful guns here. Got the M1 SAS yet again. Will it stop? I say it will. Oh yeah. Close up. It is not going through. Your neck seems like it, it should be protected. Your neck is protected. All right, well, let's keep up in it. We only got a few more options left. So, the Dragon of 7.62 by 54. I believe this is the largest round besides the 30 out 6 that we've gotten to. Apart from the Dragon of, here we go. Can't tell if that's going through. Oh, it is! It does seem to stop it when you're wearing it. Okay. Unfortunately, they took out the feature where you could... I don't know if it's a feature. You used to actually be able to take damage in the hideout. That's how I used to test my armor. I would literally just shoot myself in the head. And if I took damage, then it didn't work. If I didn't, then I knew it would stop it. But uh, they took that out. So now if I shoot myself, nothing happens. You can see the blood. A little bit harder to test this. I should have done it a while ago. But anyways, now we've got the Barrett. This is going straight through. Might even go through the back plate. I wouldn't be too surprised. Here we go. Barrett, 50 cal. That went through and hit the wall. Look at that. All the way through. No chance. Our boy's dead. He's not making it. Now let's see if it'll go through the vest, me, and the back plate. Oh. Oh my gosh, it went through. It went through all three layers. One of the layers being my own chest. You don't mess around with the Barretts, boys. Get collateral with that thing. Okay, so there you have it. Level 4 armor will stop every caliber in the game, except for the 50 cal. Now I am curious. That was all with standard FMJ rounds. Will armor piercing rounds have a different effect on each armor type? We're going to start back with the level 1 armor. But will it stop an armor piercing 9x19? Got our AP rounds here. Here we go. Oh, straight through. Through the back? Through the back plate as well. Okay, so that makes me wonder. I don't even know if 22 armor piercing is a thing. It looks like it is. Let's see if a 22 long rifle armor piercing rounds can go through level two armor. It'll be interesting to see. This thing is a pain to load. All right, if this goes through, I'm gonna start making armor piercing rounds a lot more. I think it's dead stopped. Yep, that's not going through. Armor piercing in the 22, completely pointless. Won't go through the cheapest armor in the game. But this spices things up a lot actually because if this won't even stop the Glock anymore, I wonder if the level two armor will stop the Glock with armor piercing. Here we go. Glock, nine by 19, jammered in AP rounds. Look, it's actually stopping it. It is. Armor piercing on the Glock only works on level one armor. Right, let's spice it up even more. So we know the level two armor can stop an MB5, no problem. But will it stop the armor piercing? Oh gosh, I forgot to unload my long rifles. There they go. 
All right, I'm making a mess of my hideout. That's okay. Get our level two armor up here. Will it stop an armor piercing MP5? I think it won't. It does? Oh, that was a fluke round. Take to say it does stop it. So how far can we go up the tiers until it won't stop it? Surely the 545 in armor piercing would certainly go straight through. All right, 545, armor piercing. Chamber that up. Put our rig up. No way this stops it. Actually, no. Yeah, no, it's going straight to the front plate. So there we go. With AP rounds, you can make it up to the AK-74. I'm not even going to bother testing the level 3 because I know it's basically identical to the level 2. Now my last question is how far can we get the level 4 armor? This thing stopped every caliber in the game except for the BMG. But I'm wondering, can this thing stop an armor-piercing 7.62x39? Let's find out. I honestly think this might might go through. 762 is a big round. With armor piercing, I, I don't know. I think this might go through. Oh, it is going through, I think. Get a close-up shot. Wow. Well, it seems a little iffy. Hold on. Put it on ourselves. Oh. Yeah. That one does occasionally pierce, but not always. So AK with armor piercing is going to go through any armor in the game. That's interesting. All right, for the absolute final test, I have an absolute mess coming in my hideout here. For our last and final test, we're gonna grab some 762 by 54 armor piercing rounds. We're just gonna shoot this out of the dragon of, I think this is gonna go through both plates. I wouldn't be surprised if it does. Here we go. Yep, that went through both. That hit our boy. Oh, yep, yeah, yo, right in the head. Boom. All right, I think that's all the testing we need to do pretty much. That is, I actually learned a lot of useful information here. So just a quick recap, we have our level one armor. This can stop up to a 45 ACP. Honestly, kind of surprising coming from the level level one armor. But definitely not bad at all. It's super cheap as well. The next we have the level two armor. This will actually stop up to 762 by 39, which is really impressive. Also another very cost effective rig. That's probably a top tier rig for sure. Next we have the level three armor the exact same protection as the level two for the most part uh it offers more coverage though but it costs so much more man i don't think level three is ever gonna be worth it but it is an option also blocks up to 762 by 39 and of course we have our tier four armor this thing will stop everything except for the 50 cal barrett 50 cal goes straight through both sides so uh don't get shot with that but there you have it there's all of the armor in ghost of the boar completely tested to the max let me know if you want to see this with helmets next. I'll do the same thing with the helmets. There are five different helmets in the game, and I've yet to test those whatsoever. I'm gonna close up our wardrobes here. Uh, just don't mind the mess in the hideout. We got a little, a little crazy with the testing, but I think it all paid off. But I hope you did find this video helpful. If you did and you want to see more, make sure to consider hitting that subscribe button. We do have a Discord as well that'll be linked below. Make sure to join that if you're interested. Anyways, thank you so much for watching the video. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.